Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to the new basic SBC. This is the African tour uh, and if I would have realized that it was as simple as it is, uh, then I would have put it at the end of the European tour advanced SBC that I've already done. Uh, look out for a video on my channel. There'll be a card in the top right corner if you've missed that one. That one's obviously a lot more difficult uh, with these four challenges here. Uh, so click on my channel and, and click on that video if you're uh, looking for the help on the slightly more advanced one but today I'm going to just whiz through how you can do the African tour for a some sort of Electrum players pack it's a bit of a weird one I think it basically means half gold half silver that's what EA seem to be uh, putting out quite a few of them lately actually and there's four challenges in the Africa tour Ivory Coast Morocco Nigeria and Senegal so we'll start with the Ivory Coast one what you need are a minimum of four players from the Ivory Coast, but you need five different leagues, and you also need five gold players. You don't have to worry about an overall rating, but you do need 90 team chemistry. Now, what I ended up doing here was just put in five um, or four Ivory Coast players in the squad, and actually three out of the four are from different leagues, where well, there's three leagues in these four uh, Ivory Coast players. We've got two from the Prem, obviously, right there. Uh, and then just different leagues here. And now that we had like four Ivory Coast players out of the way, as well as four out of our five gold players, uh, I decided to just use a, uh, a gold player of a different nation who plays in the same league as my CDM, who is Tiote, of course. Um, so that helps us get a chemistry link to him. And then... Because he's English, it's quite easy to find like a, an English low-rated rubbish sort of uh, bronze player to link both the Ivory Coast and the English guy together. So that helps there. Um, so we've now got uh, Premier League, one league. Uh, the French League on is two. Then we've got three with the, uh, the Championship. I've also linked up two Championship players there. Uh, I then just went down the route of different English leagues. However, I, I decided to get my striker to link to my other striker. So he's a Premier League one. Uh, so we then have the Championship, which we've already got, of course. Uh, but it does link to Tiote once again. So the only other spaces to get our two extra leagues are from the left back. So it's same nation, but just one of the different English leagues. And same again for my goalkeeper. Same nation, but from a different English league. So that's how we easily keep the chemistry up and what you guys can do as well. In order to get an Electrum Players Pack. Whatever that may be. I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be gold, silver, and bronze in that one. I'm just not sure what it actually is. Because Electrum is a new word that we're, we're seeing all over the place right now. Moving on to Morocco then. Morocco uh, was again pretty simple. Uh, if you have the Moroccan players from the French League in your club. Like, I just randomly had these three. It's a centre mid, a right mid, and a right winger. So they were all in the right position anyway. So I stuck them in there to begin with. Then I thought, okay, how can we branch off here? Because we need like a maximum of three leagues. You could just go down the route of using an all-French league squad. Um, but I decided to use those maximum three leagues just to see uh, if we could, you know, what we could get going. You do need an overall 70 rated team. So bringing in those golds nice and early on is going to be obviously a good thing. Um, I just finished off the French league with a perfect link to two players. Play for the same club, same nation, that sort of thing. Uh, and then... We moved on to the bronzes, knowing that I could probably get away with bronzes for the rest of the squad and still get that 70 rating. Uh, I've gone with English four players here and English three players over here, just so that I don't know really why, just it, it helped. You know, the English bronzes are the ones that I seem to have the most of uh, and we could link them together nice and well and everyone's on full chemistry, I'm pretty sure. And it should be easy enough to complete. So hopefully you've done some bronze pack method in the past. If so, then this is going to be super cheap for you guys to complete. Uh, but I imagine because these three Moroccans are from the same league, a lot of people might have got that idea so they might have slightly risen in price i'm not 100 percent sure though because of course this isn't they're not the greatest rewards uh, for completing this basic uh, challenge overall so we'll complete this one and we are halfway there to being complete uh, next one up is nigeria now to complete the nigerian sbc you need four nigerian players as well as a maximum of only two nations and you do need three gold players in the squad as well. Other than that, you don't have to worry about the overall rating. You just need 90 chemistry. Uh, so I was looking through my Nigerian players in my club. And I spotted 
four decent positioned Nigerians who all play in the same league. I mean, I know this is CDM and both of these are CMs, but that just sort of works. Uh, and because I packed them bronze pack method, they're on base, they're on the nine chem because of loyalty. Uh, and they get enough links to these two strikers, which is great. Meaning that we got a little little square of, of chemistry here and we can just branch off. Now, uh, I then thought, okay, well, what league haven't we had to really use lately? You know, there's been loads of new league SBCs. We did the Europe tour earlier and that utilized like Spanish players, Italian players, uh, Portuguese players. So I don't really want to use them as well because I know their price is probably high right now. And we haven't really used German players much lately or any Bundesliga. So I've decided to use those guys. So what we've done is gone for um, all German players. Now you need three golds obviously. Uh, and that's what I did there was put a little triangle of golds in. And then I tried to get bronzes everywhere but it just so happens I don't have a left and right mid that are bronze. So I just had silver ones in my club. I can stick them in there. They're not on full chem. The left mid or the right mid uh, but it doesn't really matter because you only need the 90 chem and you might have players in your club you could get away with bronzes there is what I'm saying if you do already have them uh, don't think that I desperately put silvers there on purpose it was just because I didn't have them in the club so whatever works for you is fine you know if you if you happen to have uh, a, a bunch of English players again that you wanted to use that's fine as well but don't forget more of the gold English centre-backs are in the Premier League and because the Harry Kane SBC came out uh, all Premier League players have slightly higher value than normal so I might recommend just going going down the Germany route seems like a good plan to me we are going to get a premium gold pack for this one which is obviously good and there is only one challenge left so Senegal is the nation that we need to use and this one might be a bit muddled to be honest I, I this was the last one I was doing I thought okay how do we just get over and done with with this one um, and you need six Senegalese players uh, but you can only use three players from the same league and we need two rare players and a 72 overall rating with 90 chemistry so I just started throwing in Senegalese players left right and center uh, I noticed that I had two from the second Spanish league. That that meant that they went together there, meaning that they were on both on full chem. And uh, this guy doesn't necessarily need another link down to the centre back. Um, I had one of my rare Belgians uh, as a pro league player, so we just stuck him with two b uh, bronze Belgians from the pro league. Just so happens that one of them's from the same club, one of them isn't. Uh, but that means that little trio has now got enough chemistry. Um, and then I had three players left. Well, I didn't. I, I mean, I had all these other Senegalese players to go in. Uh, but they just they just happened to, to fit the rating and whatnot. And then I tried putting some silver players here. It didn't bring my rating high enough. So I went to the Argentine league and just brought in three non-rare golds that I just had laying around uh, and it just so happens that these two are also a perfect link so that this guy gets full chemistry and that's how it's going to go but you guys probably will be alright just using random Argentines or whatever you've got in your club at this point in time just to get up to that 72 overall rating as you can see we've still managed to use like four bronzes two silvers in here so you're not, not going to rinse your club of uh, gold players for this one and we're going to get an all players pack but I'm pretty sure for this pack, we're going to get like bronzes, silvers and golds as well. So uh, it's kind of like a trade-off. But there's obviously a chance that we could get something all right. You know, relatively good, I guess. So African Tour is done. Another nice graphic there by EA. I do like that one a lot. And we get a premium Electris pl Electrum Players Pack. All right. Uh, whatever that is. I just don't know. So we'll go ahead and move on in. To the store and see what we can get. So which order should we do this in? All players pack, premium gold. We'll do the Electrum last, right? Uh, no, we'll do the premium last. I think we should do that in order, actually. Let's go all players pack then. Can we get anything good? It's a flare, but it's not a gold flare, which means it's going to be either a rare silver or bronze. Ventaleb in the pack is not anything to write home about. Uh, we do get a Paris Saint-Germain silver. He might sell for a little bit. And an ASNL centre-back. Is this someone that would probably sell? 7,000, 5, 4,000, 5, 3, 3, 3,000. Uh, 3,700. Is, where is he from? Like, what nation is he from? It says France. <laughs> but it's not a French badge, is it? I, couldn't, I can never get a uh, guess whether that's... 
Cameroon or Senegal. I get it all a little bit mixed up. For now, I'm just going to stick them in the club and I'll deal with it all later. Uh, and then we've got a few duplicates here, none of which are really uh, useful right now. So we'll just stick them onto the transfer list and I'll get rid in a minute. Premium gold pack then. Can we get a special item? No, we can't even get a flare. Oh dear God. Cesar, Caesar, however you want to pronounce his name. Not even sure what league is that? What league was he from? He's a duplicate. He's from the Italian League. We do get two gold squad fitnesses in there. So that's a couple of thousand coins worth of value. Uh, and I always use them on this account. So it's all good. And we can keep topping up that little, uh, well, that little pile of squad fitnesses that I have. I think I have over 200 at this point after selling loads. Because as you guys know, this is an account where I have spent money. Premium silver players pack next. What can we get from this one? Unlikely to see a flare. We get a rare silver who plays for Leicester. That's not bad. At some point in time, I can see him being quite useful. He might even be expensive now because of the Leicester part of the um, Premier League SBC. Is that the case? Nah, he's only a thousand coins. He's probably worth keeping just for a little bit of time. What about a League 1 or a League 1 goalkeeper? Is he expensive? No. Do you know what? There's not many players holding a huge amount of value right now. So stick them all in the club and the dupes can go on the transfer list. Have we got two or three packs left now? I can't remember. We've only got two left. So an Electrum players pack and then a premium. So one rare and then three rares. So it's not going to be anything exciting, I doubt. Uh, but they're quite cool packs, I guess. We don't get a gold rare. But we do get the Barca left back, Digne. So he's someone that comes into... Like comes into play quite a bit on this game being a Frenchman from the Spanish League Sometimes you need players of a different nation from a different league So that's also uh, always quite helpful and handy to get and he's a duplicate So I'll sell him on I'll probably keep him for a little bit just in case an SBC comes out where he's useful And then the premium Electrum players pack then come on give me something good Oh, we do get a gold rare, guys. We get ourselves the 82 rated Vieira. So it's not quite the legend Vieira, uh, but we do get ourselves a rare gold item. Finally, was that one worth it? I mean, you be the judge of that one and let me know in the comment section. We do get a complete and not a perfect link there, though. That would be good if I was playing FIFA bingo. So, um... Yeah, let me know if you think this one was worth it down below in the comment section. Did I get my value for money uh, or have I just basically done a trade-off for different players and all that sort of stuff? If you've enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button if you found it useful at all. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you so much for watching. I've got like Road to Glory and Fatal and stuff coming up over the next couple of days. So look forward to that and I'll catch you next time. Peace.